Hello Brand Ambassadors. This training video is on how to enter recap information after you have completed your event. When you're ready to enter your recap information, please log into your portal, click on the Assign tab to make sure you are in the right section to enter your event information. Find the event that you are entering that information for. In this instance, we're going to enter information for Blue Ice Potato Vodka. We're going to scroll over to the side and hit the little button that says enter data. It is going to open up the event information. As you notice, there's certain boxes that are highlighted in yellow. We want to make sure that all the boxes that are highlighted in yellow are filled out correctly. Okay? If they are not filled out, the event will not submit to the team for review. Okay? So anything highlighted in yellow, please make sure you fill out. Okay? We're going to go through and fill this out together. So time in. This event occurred at 4. You should arrive 15 minutes before your event. Okay, time out should be about 15 minutes after as you kind of end up cleaning up and taking a little bit of time to close out your station. Okay. In this instance, my receipt amount is $12.93 on the product. Okay. Store comments. The manager was very nice outside was very cold. Okay, store comments might be, as you can see, the manager was nice. The weather outside was very cold. There was very few shoppers in the store. It was a blizzard outside. It was torrential downpour outside. Anything that is store related, please make sure you put in this box. If there are no comments, you don't have to enter any of those comments at all. When you're ready to enter your product information, you scroll down. Regular price is going to be what it rang up as, okay, what's on the shelf. Tasting price, they might be the same or they might be different. So the reason that they are the same this time is that there is no sale going on. If they are different, regular price is shelf price. Tasting price would be that sale price. Okay, so in this instance, it's a dollar off. Samples tasted, I had five people say, yes, I want to try blue ice double espresso. I had two people say no. Nope. Quantity purchased is going to be one. Opening inventory, I counted how many bottles were on the shelf at consumer level. So it's whatever is in the liquor department, whatever is in the aisle at the grocery store. Um, please make sure it is only what's on the shelf. Do not go in the back into storerooms. Do not go into basement storerooms. You do not have to go hunting for any of that product. Please make sure it is only what is on the shelf. In this instance, there was 12. And as a friendly reminder, our opening inventory count should be six at the minimum. Closing inventory, when I went back and counted at the end of my event, I had eight left over. I'm going to hit the little pencil box here. That's going to pop open in a box, and then I'm going to go ahead and write all of my comments. As a reminder, please make sure you do not swear and you write everything out. So no texting shorthand or any kind of shorthand of anything. Okay was smooth, liked the espresso taste, too much coffee flavor, right? And then you do have a 200 character count limit, so please make sure you pack all of your comments into that. Okay. When you're ready and you're done with your comments, please make sure you hit save. If you hit cancel or the X, it is not going to save your comments. Please make sure you hit save and they will pop up in this little box. Okay. As you go through and fill out the rest of your product information here, you'll do the same for all the products that you had sampled. Upload a picture of your receipt, upload a picture of you behind the table, and upload a picture of just the table. If you purchase any kind of cups or parking receipt, please make sure they are in additional images. As a reminder, cups or any kind of equipment should be purchased on a separate receipt. This would include corkscrew, tablecloth, um, any of those additional equipment items, new ice bucket in case something happens. Again, those go on an additional receipt and those are added into the additional upload. Okay. Once you upload your pictures, you're going to go ahead and hit submit. Once you submit your event, you, the team will review the event to make sure all the information is there and all the pictures are correct for your event. 
Once everything is correct, it will be processed for payroll. Now, some instances that have occurred as you upload your product information into your recaps. Okay, you get to the store, you enter all of your information, and you get down to the where you enter your product information, and you only sampled out one out of the two products. Okay, so in this instance, I only had blue ice, double espresso, and there was no blue ice potato vodka. Please refer to your product cheat sheets or substitution lists. If there is a substitute listed, you can go ahead and make that substitution. You can always call the ambassador hotline if there is no substitute listed, okay? Just to double check, because there might have been a last minute substitution available, okay? But if there is a substitution on that list, you can go ahead and make that substi substitution. Please always refer to that list. In this instance, there was no substitution, so I'm just going to enter my information for the one product I sample, and I'm going to hit the box that says not available. What this does is it grays out all of the product information, and I do not have to enter anything because there I had nothing to sample. So you do not have to enter any information into those lines. You'll continue by just uploading a picture of your receipt, uploading a picture of you behind the table, a picture of just the table, and you can submit it. It will only show that you have done one out of the two products because the other one was not at the grocery store or liquor store. Another instance might be is if you have a product substitution. Okay. In this instance, you're going to fill out all the information that you had sampled. In this instance, instead of the blue ice potato vodka, we had substituted for blue ice huckleberry vodka. So on the salt, on the shelf, it was $6.99. At the register, it was $6.99. I had seven people sample, three people said no, quantity purchased is one, my opening inventory was seven, closing inventory was four, and when I get to my comments, you're going to put subbed blue ice huckleberry vodka. Again, as a reminder, you do have a 200 character count limit, but you can see you have listed the product that you had substituted or that flavor that you had substituted for. So you could put substituted or subbed blue ice huckleberry vodka. Please make sure you enter customer comments after that product that you had substituted is listed. Okay. Double check for all your spelling. Okay. Use that spelling this, you know, dictionary that's added to your browser. Okay. If not, it is there for you. Do your best, but please make sure that you spell everything out. There is no shorthand, and again, you list those products substituted. Make sure you hit the save button and not the cancel button. Also, don't hit the X because it will not save those product comments. Hit save. Now, the team and the supplier knows that you had substituted for that huckleberry instead of that just straight potato vodka. Okay, please make sure you put the substituted in the comments. Upload a picture of your receipt, upload a picture of you behind the table, and a picture of just the table. Hit that submit button, okay? Those are the common things that you will see or that will have occurred as you upload a recap information after your event has been completed. If there's anything outside of this, please contact your manager and they will help you through any situations that don't fit into this box.